Hello everyone, KDXL here and welcome to episode 3 of my Survivor Let's Play. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas um, and I hope you're having a fantastic holiday in general. Now on to the episode. The only thing I've done between the episode is just hang on these decorations around and that's it. The objective for this episode is quite simple. I am to build a farmhouse, plant a crop field and craft an enchanting table which that requires diamonds and some obsidian. And um, now let's start playing. Let's just let's start. <laughs> My next form of action is to have a path towards an area where the farm house will be built and possibly the crop field to be planted. I find picking the area out first before gathering the resources much more easier than the other way around. The next step now is to clear a bunch of trees to allow me to plan the build, having the build plan and um, maybe terraform the area a little bit just to just to continue what I am and yeah, just cut down the trees, the birch trees. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why people eat birch, I kind of like it. <laughs> This is the build plan. This is the plan of the build of the farmhouse, which is really quite simple, made up of simple shapes. We have a uh, seven by five down the middle, for example, down the middle, a five by five to the left, and a five by five to the right, just slightly chipped off. The area in front of the build where I clear the trees will be where the crop field will be planted and I'm probably going to be having a wall around it. Now that the build plan has been constructed, I have an idea of the resources I'm going to use, which I'll be finding on the ground. I need some terracotta, which will be gotten from clay box when smelted down. And I'll use the opportunity to find some more diamonds and get some more obsidian as well as to craft the um, enchanting table and I'll see you there, cave in. At long last, this is what I've been looking for, a substantial amount of lava which can be turned to obsidian.
what I'm going to do now is just mine the obsidian, a bunch of obsidian, and I'll meet you back upstairs. Up ground. Oh, come on. It's night time. It's quite night time, okay. This is really bad. I was expecting daytime. But night time, and it's been quite a while. Sleeping outside we really won't do it. And there's a creeper, okay. <laughs> And yes, I knew there's a back door. But <laughs> I was quite panicked. Okay, our resources gathering trip was really successful. I got a bunch of obsidian, some diamonds, which I'll be using to craft. Uh, an enchanting table. I just need a book, which is crafted by using sugar cane and a bunch of leather just one leather We have officially completed one of the episode's objective, which is to craft an enchanting table that will be used in the next episode, I think. But for now, I'm just going to keep it in the chest to keep it safe. Safe, safe. <laughs> English is hard. <laughs> Anyways, onto the crop field. Let's plant a crop field and build a farmhouse. Second random trader. Oh, okay. <laughs> said random. What is name again? Ah, uh, forgotten the name. Wandering trader of the world. And yeah, I tried to get the the little llamas to shoot at him, which I think I'll be successful. Yep, I am. I am the best. I am the greatest. Now give me your leather. <laughs> Ah, let's start the build. This is basically the materials I'll be using for the build. This isn't exactly the number of things I'll use, but it's just just to get a rough idea of what I'll be using. And for the build as usual, I'll be showing it in cuts the build process. On to the next cut. This is where the build is at now. It's really quite simple to grab, just a couple of logs placed. And let's watch the sun set together. Uh, let me sleep now. The sunset is beautiful enough. Ah, uh, yeah, on to the next cult, shall we? Uh, progress have been made. As you can see, I have the terracotta him and a bunch of oak planks and oak stripped oak logs which is really really quite simple the build itself is quite simple to grab just really really simple <laughs> i keep saying simple but really not especially with the controls of minecraft or especially on mobile most of all on mobile the controls are really hard to grab well now on to the next cut shall we Hello uh, and welcome back. All I've done so far is started in a roof and a, a roof, a type of roof and a cap and a hat over to the one on the left. The one on to the right, uh, I'm not too sure about the the type of roof I'm going to kill that one. And I've been expanded the field a little bit. The next cut is probably going to be uh, me decorating a bit of the house. Decorating it a little bit, expanded the field, and probably building the wall all around. See you in the next cut. I have made quite a bit of progress. I have decorated quite a lot, actually. 
<laughs> since the last time I have expanded the field a bit, expanded it a bit. I have made a bunch of progress. As you can see here, I have a little bit of an interesting view of me just pushing the hay bales outside into a box or something. <laughs> I have a little bit of a storage thing going on over here. I had the wall surrounded by barrels because I thought it looked a little bit flat. And yeah, that's all the things I've done so far. All that's left to do now is complete the field and add some extra decorations. And yeah, I guess I'll just cut to. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. After what seems like an eternity, I have completed the crop field. It really took a long time, and that was, that was a looping process of just planting and replanting various things all around. But I finally done it, I've been completed the crop field. Let's take a look with the HUD of all these things around, off in the settings. You can turn it off in the settings by yourself. Following the path, going to the farmhouse. It's a little bit crowded before going inside, but once you're in, I have a bunch of lanterns floating which will serve as an additional light. I guess I have a bunch of flowers all around. Uh, sugar cane on the top because I thought having wheat and beetroot there it looked a little bit too much. Uh, the pile is still there. I intend on complete filling all this with hill builds. I have a little well here where I've been getting my water. I just left it undecorated. And I was so bored of repeating the same action over and over again. The storage house is still there. The interior of the farmhouse is really nothing special. I have a bed. Bed among the piles of wheat or hay bales. The back leads to nothing at the moment. We don't talk about that. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out, this thing came out. It's really, I'm really, really happy with it. And walking, walking around, just walking between them is just, uh, it's just something about it. This is somewhat of an area view of the build. Uh, as soon as I get carrots and potatoes, I will I will fill the other side with it because beetroot and wheat is just too much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and watching to the end of the video. I uh, would like some feedback on the build and some suggestions on what to do next as I have completed the objective for this episode. Thank you guys so much, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays.